Good evening, YouTubers. Good afternoon. Good morning, wherever you are in the world. Thanks for joining my uh, videos again. Welcome to Granny's Vids. Um, this is a just a rough cutout I did, just to do a test, really, of my first fan for the jet engine that I talked about yesterday. If you watched the video, um, this is the stainless steel from uh, this stuff here, which I basically cut out and made into a, some sort of fan. But this again, it was a, it was a tester, so it went wrong in one place. So this was just like a tester, really, to show you what I'm doing at the moment. Um, the way I made this, I'll show you what you need. Really, you need a uh, very good, decent pair of tin snips. These are made by Draper. They're straight cut tin snips. Okay, the blue handle. Okay, the blue handle denotes that it's straight cut ones. A pair of pliers. Decent pair of pliers. Some Pritt stick. I'll explain why you need that in a minute. Um, a decent pair of scissors and uh, a ruler helps as well. Oh, and a pen. So the way you do this is you get your um, your stainless steel flat as it as it as it comes. You get your tube, which I'm using, which is about 90 mil diameter. Mark out roughly. How much you need to cut off? Make a line just down here, just so you know how much you need to uh, use. And with the tin snips, oh, we lost them then. You cut a nice straight line down the line you've made. These tin snips are very powerful, very strong. It's like cutting through paper with these things. Turn around. Do the other end, the other side. Side for the moment, and you're left with the uh, piece of uh, stainless steel. Just got to peel this uh, plastic stuff off. You could leave it on, wouldn't it do any harm? One side. Anyway, you get the idea. I'll do the other side of it. So when you've cut out your your um, piece of uh, stainless steel, you're going to use. Uh, I found this brilliant website that you can print off these circle templates. Okay, they're like a graph paper, but they're in circle for motion. Now, when you get on the website, I'll put a link at the bottom of the video in a minute after I've uploaded it, uh, where to find these templates from. But you need to play around with it for the right size tube you've got. So what I did, I did some experiments with different sized circles, and I found this one here was the best one for me. Um, I set to 25 circles. You can get, you can ask for 14, you can ask for 10, you can ask how many circles you like. The more circles you ask for, the more size you've got available. So what you do is you cut out the uh, template you need. In this case, we're after. Mark out where I want which circle I want. So it's that one there. I think. Yeah, I've, what I've done is I've selected the um, size which is like two mil smaller than the actual uh, tube I've got, which is going to be my house in. Oh, I want that one there. So follow it around. Just so you know where you are when you're cutting it out, really. Again, that one there. So I need that circle right down there. Right. When you've done that, just cut out roughly around that circle. So you know where you are. Hands got to be neat. Just as long as it's 
roughly on the outside of that circle you want. Throw the old bit away, don't need that anymore. All I did then was get your prick stick and stick it down and cover the back of the uh, template with uh, glue. Once it's all covered, stick it onto your uh, piece of stainless steel you're going to cut, like so. And you leave it on there for 5-10 um, minutes so it dries onto it, so, so it doesn't come off. And once it has dried, I'll just do a quick cut now, you just start cutting away at your corners. I say these are straight cuts, but they can go around circles quite easily. As you can see, just get rid of the sharp, sharp corner edges. You want to get the whole tin snips nice and straight in your hand, not an angle. Nice little slip. What I love about these tin snips, they've got ridges. I'll just put it onto macro. You can see this, but they've got very slightly got uh, ridges on the teeth. So it keeps the um, keeps the same steel in place as you're cutting. So as you cut around it, once you've cut your perfect circle where it's going to be the markings are, all you do is you proceed to cut down whatever lines you want to use. Now I've used every other two there, this one, there, this one, there, and so on. Don't forget to hole punch the centre so you know where they drew a hole for the um, shaft to go on to. Once you Cut, cut all the, around this and cut all the blades. You get your, your, your finished product and you just get your pair of pliers. So what Burfi, before you do that, you need to put this into a vise. In between, what I did, I put between two pieces of stainless steel metal and put it into my vise and squeezed it so it became a bit flatter. Then I proceeded to um, bend the, the blades into, into position. As you can see, this fits just perfectly inside the front my tube. Now I'm going to make about, um, I think about 15, maybe 17 of these to go to the front of the jet. As you can see on the diagram, 17 will go at the front to compress the air into a cone shape. What I'm going to do is use spaces between the uh, my, my blades and into the compressor area into the combustion area. So I thought I'd show you how I made my blade. It's come up quite nice. I'm quite pleased with it. So it's just, it's just a try it out really. But I'll be making a few more of these yet. Just for giving an update. Have a great day. Okay I've now just um, made another second fan. This one's come out perfectly fine. And I marked a nice little cross just in the middle there, a smack in the middle where I'm going to drill my hole for the uh, drive shaft to go on to. Like I said, I'm going to make quite a few of these, probably up to about 15 or so, and they'll go next to each other with a space in between. So that'll be quite a, quite a big fan. And as they uh, go up this way, the blades will be, will be cut shorter and shorter to make it sort of cone shape so it can squeeze the air into the combustion chamber. So, uh, yeah, there'll be a few of these to make yet. There you go, nice shiny brand new jet fan.